hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my top 10 favorite e.l.f. brushes. So yeah, I'm super excited about this video and if you are too, go ahead and continue to watch. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, my first one, by the way, these are not, not in any particular order. I'm just going to go through these ones. Um, but the first one right here is the e.l.f. angled blush brush, and I do not use this for blush. I use this to contour my face. Um, I really, really, really like this a lot. I switch between this and another brush that I'm going to show you, but this one is really good for when you are contouring and you want it to be super, super sculpted. Like, if you're going out and you want your face to be, like, chiseled, then this is the brush for you. And e.l.f.'s brushes are really, really, really good quality, and they're super affordable. This is either like $3 or either like $6, I can't remember if it's 3 or 6 but either way $6 for a brush is not bad, especially for the amount of time that I've had this and it like holds up to me washing it and stuff, so really, really good brush and I really, really recommend trying else brushes if you have not tried them yet. Number two is this one right here, this is the Flawless Concealer Brush. Um, I love this a lot. So when I put concealer on, I usually um, will blend it out with a beauty blender, but I'll take this brush and just kind of do the edges of it and it like blends into your skin perfectly. Sometimes I won't even use a beauty blender and I'll just use this or I'll use this to like blend out the concealer if I use it as like an eyeshadow base or something or if I contour my nose. This is perfect for getting into those smaller places like right underneath your um, like right in the corner of your eye. This is perfect for that and it's like dense enough to actually blend the product out but it's still soft enough to um, or it's dense enough to pack on the product but it's still soft enough to blend it out and everything and it doesn't like pick up the product or anything. I love this a lot. It's a really, really good one. Um, and all of these brushes are synthetic, um, so they won't like suck up your product or anything, which is really, really, really good because you don't want to waste product. So the next brush is the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. I love this brush because it's so fluffy, um, but it's still like dense enough to where it can pack on the product. What I use this brush for is my outer V, so it like it gets on enough product, but it's soft enough to where it blends it out for you. So it's like you're killing two birds with one stone, one stone, <laughs> one stone. Um, I love this brush a lot. Um, this is probably like one of the first Elf brushes I ever got, like years ago, and it's still in really really good condition. So that shows you. And I think these brushes at the time were only like a dollar or two dollars. So I really really like this one a lot. A lot. First was the brush that I was telling you about earlier. This is the Elf Complexion brush. This brush is what I use when I want my contour to be a little bit more like, um, not airbrushed looking, but just kind of like not so structured. I just wanted to kind of bronze up my face and not necessarily like chisel. Um, although this brush can do that, but this is the one I use today, so you can see some definition to my face, but it's not like cut or anything, so I like this one a lot. And I use this sometimes for blush too, so yeah, it's really, really, really good. It's super, super, super soft. Like, I could sit here all day and do this. It feels so good. The next brush right here is the e.l.f. Blush Brush, and once again, I do not use this for blush. I actually use this to apply highlight or either to bake my face with translucent powder. I like this one because it's so, like, it's tapered, um, so it can, like, get into those tiny places if you want to, like, bake your face, but it's still, like, soft enough to where it doesn't pack on your highlighter, like, a lot, but it, I don't know, it's just, it's like the perfect highlighting brush. I love it a lot. Love it, love it, love it. And I think this is the one that I, well, I know this is the one that I used today to put my highlight on. If you can kind of see it, I don't know if you can see it. Don't look at my edges, I didn't put any edge control on. <laughs> the next brush is the e.l.f. Flat Eyeliner Brush. And, once again, I don't use this for um, eyeliner brush. Um, this is the thing about brushes that I like. It's like, even though it tells you what's the name of it or what you're supposed to use it for, you can use brushes for whatever you want to use them for. Makeup is not like black and white. You can use anything you want. So that's the thing that I like about this and a lot of e.l.f.'s brushes or brushes in general are so versatile. So anyway, <laughs> um, but this is what I use to pack on products, um, eyeshadow on my lower lash line or either to smudge out my eyeliner. But I didn't use it today, but this is the one that I always use because it's so dense. So it packs on stuff like a dream and all you have to do is just kind of like go back and forth and it can blend it out as well so this is really really good and you can use it for eyeliner like next brush right here is a professional eyeshadow brush from elf this is not the one that i um use but i just can't find it i don't know if i left it at someone's house or if it's in my box still but this one is really good for packing on eyeshadows see how flat it is um all you need to do especially with like metallic shadows if you spray this with some fix plus or some kind of like 
mixing medium or whatever, um, it makes the shadow so metallic and so really like just beautiful. Um, I love this brush a lot. And this one is still good, but I, there's another one that I like a little bit better. Um, just because it's a little longer, so I don't know. I just like it better. So yeah, but this one is still really, 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 really good. This brush is kind of one of the newer ones that I have um, got, but this is the e.l.f. contouring brush. And it looks like this. I don't use this for contour, but what I do is I use it to um, kind of like carve out my contour. So I'll use it with like translucent powder or my face powder just so my contour will stand out a little bit more. I haven't used it. I didn't use it today because that's not the look that I was really going for. But this is an amazing brush for that because it's so dense so it just like packs on the product like perfectly and it, exactly where you want it to go. But you can still kind of sweep it away too um, and blend and stuff. I wouldn't really suggest blending anything with this, but it's really good for placing products, and I love this a lot. It's really good. This one was um, a little bit more expensive. I think it was like $8. Next brush right here is like one of my absolute favorite brushes. This is the small stippling brush. If I'm not using a beauty blender to um, blend my concealer out, it's this brush that I'm using, and this is the perfect brush for that. So especially with um, the other concealer brush, the little small one, if I blend this out and then do the edges with the other one, you cannot tell me anything thing about my concealer because it's going to be perfect. So <laughs> I love this brush with the other one. It's a great pair. Um, if you are going to get any brushes from e.l.f., it's going to be this one and the other one. Those are the two that you need to get because your concealer will be popping, okay? This brush right here. And the last brush right here is the e.l.f. foundation brush or powder brush. I use this for liquid foundations. This is supposed to be a dupe for like the Marc Jacobs brush, I I think. Don't, um, don't count me on that. But this brush is really, really, really good. It blends out your um, your foundation like a absolute dream. This is the best foundation brush I've ever used in my life. If I'm not using a beauty blender, it's this one. And I actually prefer this over a beauty blender um, for most of the foundations that I have. So that's saying a lot. And it's kind of dirty because I used it today. But um, this brush is so soft and it just bl it makes your face look so airbrushed. Like my foundation has never looked better <laughs> um, since using this brush. And I've had this one for so long. It was a little dent in it, but I don't know how that got there. But anyway, this brush is so, so amazing. This is an amazing brush. And I think this one is probably like $6. So you definitely need to try this brush. So maybe I'll take that back about the concealer brush. I think you should get this one first. This is amazing. It's like a flat top kabuki brush and it just makes your face look so smooth and airbrushed. And just, just amazing. <laughs> you definitely need to try this brush. So. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a member of this family. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for supporting me and coming back to my channel. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!